Hi, Friday head shave number two. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Uh, I was hoping to have had the leaf razor by now, but it hasn't arrived. So um, I'm going to be going back to the Mac 3. It's got a fresh blade on it. I don't know whether that's whether you can actually see it's got a fresh blade. Um, because last week uh, it, I could definitely feel that it needed a blade. I'm pairing that with the uh, Perazzo Chrome Effect. Uh, it's actually an Omega brush, um, ball brush. I'm then uh, going with the Perazzo Pre Shave, which is mentholated. Um, and then a soap I haven't used in a long time, Ingram. So I don't know whether you want to. You can pause it here if you want to read the back. Um, that's mentholated. Following up with tea tree boots, tea tree and witch hazel. Um, and then Perezzo green aftershave. Quite like that one. So uh, as you can see a menthol theme. And then I'm just going to finish off on my head with the Nivea sensitive aftershave balm or post shave balm. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get everything ready and then we'll get to it. So I'm back, um, just soaking the brush for a few minutes. Uh, I forgot to soak it before the shower, so, um, we'll just have to go with it as is. I've been using lots of synthetic brushes, so I'm going on with the, um, Perazzo pre-shave. I'm just going to rub that. All over my head, I've already had a shower. So that's that done. And then with the Ingrams, comes in a tube form. I have used it, as you can see, you know, it's, I've used it before. It's, it's quite a nice soap. Um, I'm just gonna put a blob of this inside the brush. Um, as you can see, I'm just going to squeeze it out a bit and then just put a decent amount in there and I'm just going to go straight to the head. So this will soon thicken up. Feel the menthol on this already. Just going to work this up a bit. Definitely feel the menthol. <laughs> It's almost a burn. I, I, I have different sensations to most people on my head because of the neck injury. Um, so this, in some, some ways, yes, I suppose it does feel cooling, but it actually also feels like it's burning. Um, but there you go. I feel temperature differently. Let's put it that way. So I'm just going to paint this on. This will do for now. Trying to get a bit more. There we go. This will do. I don't actually need to shave the top, the top of my head here, because <laughs> there's no hair. There's the odd um, hanger on, shall we say, up there in that little island I've told you about that that seems to. Um, I'm going to waste this soap. Um, that little island of hair at the front that seems to hang on for dear life. Right, so I'm going to go straight down. I'm going to clear the eyebrows before I shave them off. 
that really would be a different look. I can tell the difference straight away with this blade. The other one was really quite blunt. So, for those of you watching and that have experienced the leaf razor, I'm used to not putting any pressure on at all. Now, obviously, I'm putting pressure on with this. Do I put the same amount of pressure on the leaf razor as I do with this, or do I um, just let the razor do the work and don't put pressure on the same with it, the same as I would do with a DE razor? I'm guessing it's somewhere in the middle. Um, now tomorrow I'm going to give my Feather ASD2 Chevette a, a run on the old face. I haven't used that for months since I last cut. I literally cut myself all the way across there. I just lost concentration. Got a bit overconfident with it and ended up with a really nasty cut. Uh, I don't think it's scarred, but it was a long one. I was lucky that I caught it quick enough. Um, so yeah, I will be going very carefully with that. Um, I've left my phone on. So apologies for that sound. It's my daughter probably trying to get hold of me. Um, once I finish this pass, I'm going to turn the sound off on my phone. So just bear with me a second. Oh, I do find this refreshing, I must admit. Right, one second, I'm just going to turn the, vol the sound off or the alerts off. One moment. Back again, turn them off. So I don't get disturbed again. Right, so I'm going to go on with the uh, cold water. Right, pass number two. Right, this doesn't seem to be, I'm gonna put some more cream in this. And a bit more water. As I say, I forgot to soak the brush, so it's when I was doing my first pass, it, uh, it soaked up all the water in the, in the brush, all the moisture. That's the th one thing with natural hair brushes. You need to soak them first. So while you're having a shower, put them in a mug of water or in, in the basin. Ideally, don't put the handle in the, you know, make sure the handle doesn't get submersed because if the water's that warm, it can damage the glue that holds the fibers in. Um, that's a much better. I don't go for the peaks, but I think I'm getting close to peaks with this. Um, 
yeah so you, you what you don't want to do is damage the the resin or whatever it is that they use to stick the the uh, bristles in to the handle it's not a good idea to leave that soaking in hot water for five or ten minutes while you're having a shower um, because in the long run you're going to damage it or you might just depends right against the grain now it's just two passes on my head at the moment well I, you know i haven't worked out how to go across the grain really so i just go with the grain and against I don't know whether you can hear that on the microphone, but it is really, you can really hear it cutting away. It is a bit pointless shaving the, the top of my dome. As I said to IMCDB when he made a comment, or I forget who it was who made the comment that I was cheating. I said I've got a bit of a head start, if you pardon the pun. Because most of my head is bald anyway. So, and I was quite surprised actually, because a lot of people, including IMCDB, actually I think this looks pretty good so I have decided to stay with this certainly until the winter um, and I probably will keep it if you know I'll probably just stay like this now I mean who needs a haircut anyway <laughs> you certainly don't need to go to the barber shop if you do this and save yourself a lot of money don't get me wrong, go there for a, a proper cutthroat shave, something to enjoy, pamper yourself with. But if ever I went to uh, the barber shop, I just went in and had a number one, you know, or a number two, whichever, on the old. Uh, sort of hair trimmer it's still quite difficult I mean I've kind of got it down with with the electric razor but there are certain positions on my head that I actually find it quite difficult to work on. In certain positions where I just can't get to, like the crease at the back of my head. You can't get in there fully right. Let's have a feel. Still got some there. That's it. So I just want to go down the neck. Something else you've got to get used to. If you shave your head, you've got to shave your neck. Of 
because that would look a bit unsightly. A hairy neck and a bald head. <laughs> Right, that's me. I think there's a little bit there. So that's the head shave. Pretty much. BBS. So, I mean, the old cuts do clear out, but it depends. If I tried to use this on my face now, not a chance. That wouldn't last five seconds. Um, that's where a DE will blow a cartridge razor away, and it blows it away in price. So, so right, I'm just gonna clean up, and I'll be right back. So that's me all cleaned up. Feels nice and smooth. Can't wait for my shave tomorrow, although I'm a, I'm a little bit um, on edge. So just to, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I will be using the uh, Feather Artist Club SS razor. Um, and I will probably use it with the Super Blade because the, the mild blades don't do anything for me it doesn't really feel that efficient so right on with the um, boots tea tree and witch hazel bit of a burn not much better than last time I think this is going to improve over time as my skin get used gets used to used to it I uh, commented to Chris at IMCDB um, the, the only problem I had with having shaved my head for the first time is my head now felt quite cold and I was walking around wearing a woolly cap for a little while but my head's slowly getting used to it now so so that's uh, the witch hazel done I'm going to go straight on now with the Perazzo green aftershave um, slightly different this time um, I've kind of been going a bit over the top with my shows using the Nivea and the post shave balm and stuff like that I'm probably still going to use the Nivea if I'm honest the Nivea men cream um, but I don't need to do that on camera really you all know I do it um, it's just putting some cream on the same as, as the Nivea sensitive balm that I'm about to put on now there was a bit of a burn there with that Perazzo, which I expected. Um, I'm literally putting a small amount of balm. And that's me with a lovely cool head. <laughs> a mentholated shave and my Friday head shave number two complete. Um, before I go, I just wanted to sort of mention um, my subscriptions are going up and I thank those who who uh, are the new subscribers, some of whose names I can't really pronounce. Um, but I would say that um, looking at my statistics, and I'll probably bring it on screen now, 72% um, of the viewers that, that view my channel or view my videos are not subscribers. If you could sub subscribe, it'd be great. I'd love to get up to 100, um, and I may be uh, giving something away. Um, it won't be anything amazing, because it's only 100 subscribers, but, uh, you know, it's still, you know, a milestone on, on YouTube to get up to your first 100. Um, so, yeah, um, if you could subscribe, those of you who haven't already, those of you who have, I really appreciate it. And I appreciate those who comment on the videos. I enjoy that very much. Um, you know, having a conversation and responding to people. So, um, yeah, subscribe, click the like button, the thumbs up button, and don't forget the notification bell. Bye for now. Oh, I haven't uh, said bye for now properly. Bye for now. <laughs> bye now. <laughs>